After the Branham High School boys volleyball team's 26-24, 25-14, 29-27 victory over Aptos in the Central Coast Section Division II championship match, a homemade poster was brought to Bruins coach Heather Cooper. It read, leave your mark, and had boxes checkmarked after, league champs, round one, and round two. Cooper took a red marker and checked the final box on the poster, finals. She said another one will be made for the SIF Northern Regional Playoffs, which start on May 22nd. We came in with just emotion. We play for our why, there's a bigger meaning than just the sport of volleyball, of why you love it. Cooper said. Some of them are playing for their moms, some of them are playing for their grandparents, some of them are playing for themselves. It's just the bigger picture of not only loving the sport but just why we're here. Branham, which won its first CCS boys volleyball title since 2010, was driven into overtime in both the first and third sets by the top-seeded Mariners. Second-seeded Bruins prevailed each time last Saturday at Street. Francis, the key today was staying relaxed and just staying focused, said Branham's Cole Gillis, who had 20 kills in the match. Branham, 24-4, bolted out to a 12-4 lead in the first set, but Aptos, 27-5, came back tying the score at 19, 22, 23, 24. But Branham produced the final two points of the first set for a 26-24 win. Bruins didn't falter in the second set, increasing their lead to 19-9 before eventually winning 25-14. In the third set, Branham took a 16-12 lead but Aptos scored three straight points and neither team had more than a two-point lead the rest of the match. Aptos staved off match point twice, but a Gillis kill gave Branham a 27-26 advantage and a long hit by Aptos ended the match. In a semi-final match against No. Sarah last Thursday, Branham received double-digit kills from Gillis, 17, Dylan Stodd, 15, and Brian Cash, 11, in a 25-20, 20-25, 25-19, 25-23 victory. Colby Lau had 24 digs and Benjamin Brigham passed for 48 assists in the Bruins' win. Branham defeated No. 7 Valley Christian 25-19, 25-23, 23-25, 25-18 in the first round on May 8. Gillis slammed 22 kills and Luke Sayer added 7 kills and 3 blocks. Lowe had 21 digs and Brigham had 29 assists. Swimming Leland's Hannah Womer placed second in the girls' 200-yard individual medley, 1 minute, 59.78 seconds and 100 butterfly, 53.80, at the CCS Championships last Saturday in Santa Clara. The senior clocked All-American automatic times in both events. Willow Glenn's Zachary Dietz also finished second in the boys' 100 backstroke, producing a All-American consideration time of 49.72. Leland had a trio of top three finishes in relay races. The Chargers girls team of Amy Lee, Wilmer, Maya Gulvady and Samantha Keith was third in the 200 medley relay with an All-American consideration time of 1 minute 45 seconds and 72 milliseconds. Leland's boys 200 medley relay squad of Brian Wong, Geffen Chong, George Liu and Michael Q. Linich was also third with an All-American consideration time of 1 minute 34 seconds and 65 milliseconds. Leland's boys 200 freestyle relay squad of Liu, Ethan Jar, Wong and Q. Linich finished third in 1 minute 25 seconds and 14 milliseconds, an All-American consideration time. Softball Branham won its last two games of the regular season and received the no. 12 seed in the CCS Division 1 playoffs.
The Bruins' first round game is against No. 5 Salinas, 15-8, at the Salinas Sports Complex on Wednesday at 4 p.m. The Bruins, 10-9 overall, 9-5 in the Blossom Valley Athletic League MT. Hamilton Division, exploded for 25 total runs in its last two regular season games. In a 12-2 victory over Live Oak last Thursday, Irene Wong was 3-for-4, including a double, with two runs scored and three RBI. Melissa Garcia had two hits, including a double, with a run scored and three RBI. Taylor Ann Fowler was 2-for-4 with two RBI for Branham, and teammates Zylie Augenstein and Emily Rocha also had two hits in the victory. The next day, the Bruins outslugged Sobrato 13-11. Sidney Loeffler had a home run, two doubles and four RBI for Branham in the victory. Teammates Ashley Donaldson, Augustine and Garcia all drove in two runs, and Wong was 3-for-4 with a run scored, 